George, firstly, welcome to the football club. First session on the grass, how was that day for you? Yeah, it was good. Um, been back in full time and uh, all that carry on, yeah, it's been good. Um, obviously, the lads have welcomed me in. Uh, everyone's made me feel welcome and yeah, I'm just looking forward to getting going. Muddy one out there, sort of like that the way you like it? Yeah, um, especially the keepers area, um, turned into a bit of a swamp, uh, but yeah, it's all good fun. Tough competition, battling out you know, within the football club, we've got Stocky, Ryan and Rory, also won that number one shirt, how are you going to find that? Uh, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be tough, obviously there's a lot, lot of people fighting for that one shirt, um, but you know, it's... It's a union at the end of the day, um, you know, we'll be pushing each other, um, helping each other and, you know, ultimately it's to push each other to be the best person that they can be. What do you know about the other keepers, generally? Uh, I know I've played against Ryan, um, being, obviously he's come through the academy here, um, and my time at Bradford, um, I've come across each other. Um, and I've not come across Rory before, um, and neither Stocko either, so... I know he's come and watched me a couple of times and obviously I've seen him seen him play his games on TV and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm just looking forward to working with him all. A good leader to look up to, perhaps? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, straight away, like, he's made me, made me feel welcome. Um, like, he's put his arm around me and, yeah, just looking forward to learning off him. Describe yourself as a, as a goalkeeper to people that might not be too familiar with you. Um, so I'd say that, you know, I'm like quite quite composed on the ball. Um, you know, I come for crosses, um, you know, look look to play play high and, you know, help help the back four and the defence out in playing out and, you know, keeping the keeping the possession of the team. Should touch on Bradford Park Avenue, made a lot of appearances there. Probably your most consistent spell as a footballer was with that how sort of Sadly to leave, but grateful for what you learned there. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm uh, very grateful towards Park Ave. Um, I know Bows and Bosch. Um, like obviously since I've been in there, probably two two and a bit years now. Uh, you know, I've not missed a game, um, and that was always the reason for going there. Um, you know, I just wanted to play football consistently and just enjoy it again. Um, and then obviously. With that comes like the progression of stepping up to stepping up the leagues and so much. So we are. I am forever like grateful towards them. Um, you know they've helped me a lot. Obviously this year and like last year has not been so good for us. But from a personal point of view, like playing week in week out um, with the backing of Bows and Bosch and all the players behind me and stuff, it's done me a world of good. Picked up the captain's armband this season too. How was that? Yeah, this year, um, obviously, as captain who was, has gone into like a player coach role. Um, but now it's brought on different responsibilities, probably probably made me a bit more out there. Um, you know, like, obviously, there's stuff like fines and all that sort of carry on that you've got to take responsibility for and like chasing up things. But, you know, it didn't, didn't really affect me. Um, end of the day, it's just an armband around your arm, isn't it? So just focused on playing. Uh, Gaffer spoke really highly about you as a, as a footballer, said that he's sort of tracks you all summer. Do you, do you like that pressure? Does it put pressure on you? How do you find them sort of comments? Uh, no, I wouldn't say there's any pressure or anything like that. You know, it's, it's always nice when, you know, a manager's wanting you to join and and all that. So from from that side of it, yeah, it is... It is um, quite pleasing really uh, obviously York's a massive team and you know they get get their attendances and and all that so obviously there is that pressure of you know performing but I don't think it's something that I won't be able to handle. Big game coming up on Saturday Yorkshire Derby live on TV how exciting is that for you? Yeah really exciting to be honest obviously you know at Park have you playing in like front of 400 fans um, so then like obviously come Saturday I don't know how many is going to be there for between three and four, four thousand. Um, so yeah, just really looking forward to it. And obviously with it being a, a derby, there's no better way to start really.